All right, let's go ahead and uh, continue our examples with uh, finding derivatives at a point. So uh, here we're going to start with rational functions. So example one, uh, big F of x is 1 over x minus 7. And we want to find out uh, f primed of negative 4. Okay, so we're going to find the derivative of this function at negative 4. So uh, using the definition, that's going to be f primed of negative 4 equals the limit as h goes to 0 of f of negative 4 plus h minus f of negative 4 uh, all divided by h. Okay, so um, now we just got to figure out what's f of negative 4 plus h and what's f of negative 4. So let's come over here and do that. Um, f of negative 4 plus h. So uh, f of x is 1 over x minus 7. So f of negative 4 plus h is going to be 1 over negative 4 plus h minus 7. All right, so when we simplify that, uh, we're going to get negative 4 minus 7 is negative 11. So this is really uh, 1 over h minus 11. Let's go ahead and write it like that. So that's that. Now let's find uh, f of negative 4. Uh, f of x is 1 over x minus 7. So f of negative 4 is 1 over negative 4 minus 7 which is a 1 over negative 11, or in other words, negative 1 eleventh, like that. All right, so now we're going to take these and uh, put them into our expression here. So let's go ahead and do that. So this equals uh, the limit as h goes to 0 of, uh, this was 1 over h minus 11. And uh, here, minus uh, negative 1 over 11, so that's really uh, plus 1 over 11. Okay, uh, and then on the bottom we still have h. So now, uh, this is a little more complicated than the uh, functions we saw in the last few videos, um, but the idea is still pretty much the same. We just want to simplify so that eventually we cancel this h out here. So um, when you're dealing, pretty much in general in math, when you're dealing with uh, stuff that has complex fractions like this, uh, you just want to simplify so that you don't have a complex fraction anymore. So uh, what we can do is get a common denominator on the top here, um, so we'll ignore the h down here, get a common denominator, combine these two. Uh, or we can take a little shortcut and see, okay, uh, here is an h minus 11 in the denominator, here is 11 in the denominator. So let's multiply uh, the big top and the big bottom by uh, h minus 11 times 11. So this is actually kind of the same thing uh, in this case uh, as finding the, uh, common, the least common denominator. But here, uh, we can do this in general. So why is this going to work? Because what's going to happen is when we distribute this through uh, on the top here, it's going to cancel out the denominators here, which is what we want. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, we'll show it in detail here. So this equals the limit as h goes to 0 of uh, when we distribute this through, in the first term we're going to have 1 over h minus 11 times this stuff here, times h minus 11, times uh, 11, all right? And then for the second term, we have plus 1 over 11 uh, times this stuff here. Okay? And then all that's divided by h. And don't forget this stuff on the bottom. Uh, that's kind of easy for to get, or for me it is anyway. Uh, so make sure that we keep this down there too. All right? So now, uh, what do we have? 1 over h minus 11, here's h minus 11, so they're going to cancel. Uh, that's great. 1 over 11, here's 11, they're going to cancel. And uh, now we don't have a complex fraction anymore, so that's great. Uh, let's go ahead and come back up here, and we'll get this out of the way. So now um, when we simplify, that's going to equal the limit as h goes to 0 of what do we got? Uh, we still have an 11 left over, and here's a plus 1 times h minus 11. So this is just 11 plus h minus 11. Uh, 11 plus h minus 11. And then on the bottom, we still have just h times h minus 11 times 11. Okay? Um, so now, uh, what's this going to equal? Well, here, 11 plus h minus 11. The uh, 11 and minus 11 are going to cancel, so let's just get rid of those here, just to save time and space. 
All right, plus sign, we can get rid of that too. So now, um, this is good because uh, now we just have an H on the top, and here's this H out here on the bottom, so we can cancel these guys. So then what we have is a limit as H goes to zero of one over H minus 11 times 11. And now this one we can just do by direct substitution now. Uh, there won't be any problems with that. So if we do direct substitution, this is going to be zero. So we have uh, zero minus 11 is negative 11. So what we have is one over negative 11 times 11, uh, which is the same thing as negative one over 121. All right, so that's uh, our first example with rational functions. The next one will be in the next video. And uh, we can see that this was a little more complicated uh, than the linear and quadratic functions that we've been looking at. And it's kind of expected because rational functions are a little more complicated in general. But uh, the idea is still the same. Just simplify um, so that we can cancel out this h with something. Because okay, when we do direct substitution in the beginning, this h is what gives us problems because we can't divide by 0 here. So we just want to simplify to get rid of that. And uh, that's pretty much the idea in general. So let's do another example in the next video.